Okay guys, here we are. I am back and you might recognize the area. I decided to start off here this time now that I have successfully dropped things off. Uh, part of the reason is I noticed when I was editing that this little gap opening up here, had I been paying attention and I turned around, I would have noticed this little gap right here. So what I wanted to do was start off and clear that area. Make sure it's nice and safe for it leaving alone, more or less. Okay. Um, I guess before we start, let me go ahead and show you. I uh, decided to go back and to the house and grab some wheat. Whoa! Hey, I'm talking to the people here, zombie. Do you mind? Thank you for not being a skeleton, though. <laughs> anyway, um, went back to the house, decided I wanted to go for the wheat route because that's a lot less space take being taken up by bowls of soup, of soup. And speaking of the bowls of soup, I wonder how many of you were yelling at me that, yeah, your bags are full, but those bowls stack. <laughs> Something I realized after I was dropping them off. <laughs> it always seems to happen that way. You're recording, and the obvious always ends up escaping you. Okay, good. This was just a nice, quiet little hole. Well, maybe not so quiet, but a little hole, definitely. Let's do something I haven't done for a long time. Find the source of the noise. And the challenging way, i.e. no using F3. Just stop, take a listen, and see if you can't figure it out. Recently though, I've found that my sense of hearing in this game has gone bad. I found myself digging up when it turns out that they were actually below me. Huh. Okay, they sound like they're up here. So let us turn a bit and see if we can't find them. Aha! Found them! Yep, there he is! Sneaky. Apparently I had almost been here before, just looking at all that torchlight that's right there. Huh. How did I get so close and yet just walk away from it? This is very weird. That's very dark. <laughs> and very scary. Where is this? I'm confused. Huh. Oh! Now I know where I am yet again. Haha. -ha. This is another place I had been meaning to come back to after watching myself run past it three or four times while editing. Like, no, no, go back! There were interesting things! Go find out what it was! Okay. That's what was back here. Hey, hey, go away. I know that doesn't get rid of all of them, but that should help. Get out of the water, thank you. Now, something I just noticed, I never actually healed up when I went back to the house. How silly of me. <laughs> something else you guys might notice. I decided to use a little bit of my gunpowder stockpile back at the house and Bring that back. Bring some TNT back. Because I believe we still are owed some vengeance. Yes. Depending on whether or not that spawner, that dungeon, really is a skeleton spawner, if it is, I think we'll turn it into another arrow factory. If it's not, 
I'm thinking kaboom. <laughs> and no, not the cleaning product. That that would be silly. We don't want to clean the dungeon. No. I mean, it's mossy and it's dirty. But no. <laughs> Whoa. What? I'm back near the mud. Are you kidding me? <laughs> so if I had bothered exploring that... Oh my god, I, I would have ended up here. That's just nuts. Chris, I was making a bad joke and not paying attention to where I was walking. I How did I get here? Oh. What? I'm still slightly confused. Um, I think that was iron. A long time ago. Um, well, let me just go back to the front and retrace my steps. How about that? Uh, not lost, just confused. I know a spider. <laughs> hmm. Okay. This is eerily familiar, and yet I don't recognize it. Hey, look, more darkness. Oh, okay. Seriously, how how did I get down here? I'm going to have to figure that out when I'm editing up this episode for you guys. Whoa! Hi, creepy spider eyes. Come on, before the spider notices, he can get to me. Thank you. Okay, did he make that squeak before he died, or was that a second spider? At least we found some more darkness to explore. Yay! Okay. And more iron. Uh, something I guess I should let you guys know. When I did go back with the, I think it was 50 pieces of iron we had from before, from just me cleaning out the part of the cave we'd already explored. Um, in addition to all the iron I went back with, that ended up making two full stacks and another quarter. And so I've got the two full stacks smelting away right now back at the base. And I also, when I went back to the house, brought a whole bunch of uh, logs with me. So that way I could start smelting those into some coal. I know I said when we're in the cave, I pretty much only want to stick with the coal I find in the wall and not ever do charcoal. But considering that I lost like almost an entire stack of coal to that tragic death in uh, the beginning of the chapter, I think I want to just have a little coal around just in case I need it. Um... Don't know if I'll actually use it, but it, it's there as more of an emergency supply and for smelting purposes. And Wow, that's a lot of iron in the walls and ceiling. And Look at that. It's like group one, group two, three, and four. All right, well, I'm going to have to actually uh, crab this up. I'll be with you guys in a second. Stupid mouse. Okay, and with that, we're almost up to a stack of iron again. And I've only been in here for like five or ten minutes. This has definitely been a nice cave again. And oh look, iron I walked past earlier. Let us grab it now, since it's right here and I won't have to remember to come back for it. Hehe. <laughs> Alright. Ah oh, yes, I already came this way. I believe the way out is over here. So, let us go over here. Okay, not exactly the way out, but I think it will suit my purposes. Ah, the bridge I made to make sure we were safe earlier. And what do you know? This almost feels perfectly fitting. 
<laughs> yes, I saw you, zombie. I think what I'm going to do, just to be kind of funny, is that this is exactly where I started at the beginning of my recording set today. Way back in episode... Let's see, what is that? 89, I guess. So, I'm going to go ahead and stop right here, as that feels like it's got a nice, perfect, almost circular air to it that start where you end, end where you start, kind of. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, um, this has been Nocturne. I wanted to thank all you guys for watching, for commenting, and doing all those awesome things you guys do. And I hope you guys stick around, and we'll check out the next episodes. I will see you then.